Do you know what your credit score is? Yes, I do. It's actually, it's good. Do you want to say it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's a good credit score. It's above average. Your credit score. It used to be taboo, now it's out in the open. And how did you find it out? Credit Karma. I use Borowell, so they send me like a monthly report. Credit Karma and Borowell. If those names ring a bell, it's likely because of commercials like these. Seems our score will decide our future. You know, I'm wondering if now's even the right time for us to have a kid. I'm not sure we're ready, you know, financially. Just check your credit score for free at borowell.com. Yeah! Lenders and landlords use scores to help decide how financially risky we are and what interest rates to charge. So millions of us are signing up to learn our three-digit number. But are all scores created equal? And just how reliable are they? Our credit score crew is about to test that out. Michael Dang, he's a brand ambassador and goes by his last name only. Crystal Ram Roof, a logistics manager with two young kids. And Raman Agarwal, owns his own company and employs 55 people. Credit score crew, how you doing? Great, thank you. Yeah. So why are you three interested in your credit scores? One should know how much score they have. If they are borrowing money from the bank, it's very important to credit score play a big role. This is something close to home for me. I mean, I like being educated on things in life. I don't know my credit score. You've never checked your credit score. Mm -mm. I'm going in as blind. That's, that's the game plan. We're testing four companies. Two give out a free score. Credit Karma, based in the US, and Borowell, a homegrown Canadian company. And we'll test two that charge for a credit score, Equifax and TransUnion. Here's the scoop. The higher your score, the higher the chances a lender will loan you cash or give you a credit card. It's based on many factors, including whether you pay off bills on time, how much money you owe, how long you've been borrowing, what types of credit you have, and how often you ask for new credit. First up, Credit Karma. I got it. You're in? I got it. 762. Oh, 762 is very good according to Credit Karma. Yes, it is. The karma's all right with yes. you? And shows all my credit cards too here too. All my credit cards, everything it shows. So mine's fair, okay. which I expected. I do, I do keep up with it because I did uh, file for a bankruptcy. So it shows me the information on my bankruptcy and when it will be discharged okay. and closed, which is great. Let's see what's going on with Dang. Wow! I'm what? Gonna, I don't know. What? Can you read out your score, please? 811. And it says you are? Excellent, I think. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. I guess I'm doing something right. <laughs> Our testers don't just get a score here. Credit Karma serves up credit cards. I'm at 19.97 for a President Choice card, MasterCard. In you? A Canadian tire for a 19.99%. And ramen? American Express card, it's called Cobalt card at 19.99% interest. So let me get this straight. You are all being offered the same interest rate and you have different credit scores yep. across the board. Correct. Does That's that strange. make any sense? Nope. No. Not at all. Mm -mm. Hmm. It says right on the site an offer based on your score. Next up in our test, Borowell, another free score. There you go. You're in. Oh, 637, wow. What did I do? Raman stunned. He was just at 762. Now his score has dropped 125 points. What happened? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. And look, on the other credit score, Credit Karma said you were doing very good. Correct. Now you're... It's showing I'm below average. I cannot understand this. He's worried because if he wanted a loan, his low score could mean a higher interest rate. Crystal's score tanks too by almost 100 points. It's a huge difference, it's shocking actually. Say for example, you were on Credit Karma and you go in with that credit score thinking, you know, you're doing pretty well and then you try something else out and it's a complete opposite. It's, it's kind of deflating. 
and Dang is also going downhill. I am now an average Ontario person at 770, apparently. I mean, you're still excellent, but you're not yeah. as excellent as you were with Credit Karma, sorry yeah. to say. Exactly. So I wonder what I did in the past two minutes to lose it. Check it out. Borowell recommends credit cards and lots of loans, too. And what kind of interest rates are well, there? Oh, it's that's here. Huge. It's pretty high, though. Fairstone, I don't know who they are, asking for 26.99% interest. And while Crystal has the lowest score, she gets the biggest offers. Loans up to 60 grand. That's a lot of money. It is. OK, let's pull out the plastic for the next two scores. They cost about 20 bucks, starting with Equifax. So you just hit view my product now? Crystal's score is back up. Yeah, well, I feel like Equifax, like you're paying, now you're paying for a product that it should be more accurate. Raman's paid Equifax score is also up. Strange. OK, so let's I got go a better let's... score here now. Why the hell is showing a different score? And Deng keeps on sliding. It's about an 80-point difference from what we started with. So I started my day very well at like 8-11, and every little <laughs> test I did just went boop, boop, boop. So what's in store for our final score? It's from TransUnion. Do you think this credit score will be better or worse than the others? Hard to say. Yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. Oh, wow. Yeah. So mine went into uh, very poor on uh, TransUnion, so. And the grade score is F. Yeah, it's F. What do you think about that? Disappointing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's gone, we've gone through four different uh, credit sites and I mean, nothing's really consistent. But Dang's on the rebound. Right, I'm in. Let's see. Bell curve's back up. I'm at seven. 98. Yep. Good stuff, man. Woohoo. Get it. This is looking up. Unlike the free sites, TransUnion and Equifax aren't pitching credit cards or loans. This is more just a plain information. And Raman, he's up by two points. So here are the final results. Three testers, four companies, four different credit scores. These roller coaster results are making our testers scratch their heads. Does every company have like their own formula to it, or is like there's one standardized one for everything? We've shared our results with the companies in our test. Credit Karma declines to come on camera and won't comment on our findings. TransUnion and Equifax won't give us an interview either. And Borowell, well, their CEO, Andrew Graham, is about to step up. It really is a confusing and frustrating system in many ways. I'm, I'm really sympathetic to that. And that's really why we've tried to make it more transparent. So what we've done is made it possible for consumers to see that information quickly and for free so that they, they can advocate for themselves. But Crystal wonders how she can advocate for herself without knowing which score lenders use. Do they go based on the free uh, websites you, that you can access, or do they go based on the bigger guys like TransUnion or Equifax? Good question. Consumers are wondering, what can we trust then? What score can we trust? Which company is giving us the clearest picture? So there are many different types of credit score in Canada um, and different, and they're calculated slightly differently. So every lender is going to have their own secret sauce for how they make loans and they may use a different type of score. The score we give out is a very commonly used score. Same deal with Credit Karma, Equifax and TransUnion. They say their scores are used by banks and lenders too, but which ones? They won't tell us. It's time for test number two with our credit score crew. All right, so you're going to take these credit scores. We're going to send you off in some real life situations. I'll be coming with you, but hanging back a little. We'll see what happens. Let's go. We want Dang to find out if he can score a set of wheels with his credit scores, like this Credit Karma commercial suggests. Ooh, let me, let me hop in and get a feel for it. So, he's meeting with auto sales manager Ronan Frawley. 
I've always wanted like a high-end car where I can feel the speed underneath my feet. Okay, well, you're in the right place. Yeah. I'm just wondering if like these steer would do anything for me. These are credit scores that you've you've printed online? Yeah, man. These okay. are the free ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. These are good to know for yourself personally, but really they they don't bear any weight in terms of an automotive yeah. purchase. We're gonna be looking at many other variables, including credit scores, but from an automotive lender's perspective, this really wouldn't have any impact whatsoever on lending. What about the one I pay for on like a monthly basis? Does that do anything for me? No, not at all. It's uh, yeah, not worth the paper it's printed on, unfortunately. Oh man. Turns out the car people request their own score on you, which could be different. It's nothing like the commercial I've seen online on Credit Karma, where we're just like, swipe, and you get a new car. Swipe, and you get a new car. Yeah, no, no, not quite. Not quite. So dang scores don't pass the test drive. But at least he gets to take a car out for a spin. Next up, Crystal and I are in Toronto's condo town, chatting with property manager Sabine El Ghali. For your properties, when you go to rent them out, would these credit scores be something you would consider? We don't accept outside credit reports. Because some people would actually submit these and then I have to tell them, I'm sorry, I can't accept it. Thank you for submitting it. We have to rent ourselves. Listen up. Sabine's looking for something specific. I mean, it gives you a number, but I don't see it saying a beacon score anywhere on them. Say what? There's something called a beacon score? Sometimes when we run it, it's even higher than what they presented. But not lower. We've had lower as well. Okay then, Crystal's four scores don't cut it here. So what's Raman gonna hear when he shows his scores to mortgage broker Vince Gaetano? Vince owns monstermortgage.ca. Well, let's take a look at them. Okay, this is a client score mm -hmm. and uh, not necessarily the same score I would secure when I pull my credit bureau. This is a general score. As a mortgage professional, I pull yes. a beacon score. That's a score that our lenders want us to uh, present to them mm -hmm. with a mortgage application. It's that beacon score again. It's used by most lenders in Canada. But here's the catch. It's only available to businesses, and it's kept secret from you and me. All these scores that are being provided to consumers free or by paid purposes are not necessarily beacon scores. This is your marketplace. Three testers, four companies, four different credit scores that don't seem to mean much. So why don't we come on in? Thanks to this mortgage broker, Raman's gonna find out his secret beacon score. Why don't you have a seat? Sure. It's risky because a business checking up on him could lower his score but he wants to know, so he's going for it. So, Ramon, yes. I have your score. Okay. I can't show you the score, but your beacon score is a lot different than any of those four reports you showed me today. Let me ask you, is it higher or lower? It's extremely higher. Oh, my God. And you're in the top 10 to 15 percentile of Canadians. And I have an obligation to keep the reporting of the credit score private. You can disclose the numbers at all. I could disclose the number. Your credit score is 829. Oh, my God. Wait, what? That's way higher than all his other scores. We take that news to borrow out. One of our testers went to a mortgage broker and had a hard credit score check, and it was a Beacon score. His Beacon score was 829. Borwell's score was 637. So the Beacon score is almost 200 points higher than the score he got from your company. Can you explain that? So there are many different types of credit score in Canada um, and different, and they're calculated slightly differently. It is a complicated system and I'm, we're the first to say that it's frustrating for consumers. We didn't build the system. We're trying to help add transparency to it and help consumers navigate it. Then maybe he can help answer this next question. All our testers took their credit scores to a car dealership, a mortgage company, along with a property rental management company. All of them said their credit scores were useless. They couldn't use them, they couldn't run them. What do you make of that? 
Well, if you talk to any lender, any bank that's making uh, lending decisions, they're absolutely using credit scores. So which credit score are they using then? So there's a variety of credit scores in Canada. The credit score we give is a mainstream credit score used by many of the banks. Mainstream and how? If we're being told it's not being used, how is it mainstream? Well, it, it's absolutely being used. We're using it for one. I mean, look, the good news is if you are doing things like paying your bills on time and not maxing out your credit cards, you're going to see improvements across any kind of credit score you pick. So I think that's, that's the power here. But who's really got the power? Seems like Americans may have the upper hand. Remember that secret Beacon score? It's not a secret in the US. They call it a FICO score there, and consumers can get it easily. Oh, and remember those offers coming through the free sites? 19.97. 26.99% interest. Up to 59,995. Borwell and Credit Karma get a cut of any offer you're approved for by a loan company. And Vince Gaetano has a lot to say about that. The end result is you're giving them permission to pull your report. Right. And that data is very valuable to lending companies, to marketers, to anyone that needs to sell you financing. You have many loan companies out in the marketplace that are offering these type of services because they want to market to you at the appropriate time when you're at your most vulnerable. We show his concerns to borrow well. So it really doesn't reflect how we run our business. We want to connect people to the best financial products if and when they need them. Many, many, many people that use Borowell have never taken a financial product with us, and that's totally fine. And get this, if you can find the fine print on Borowell's site, it says their score may not be the same score used by third parties and is provided to you for educational use. Bet you missed it in the Credit Karma commercials, too. The score you see on Credit Karma is provided for educational purposes and may be different than the score your lender uses. <laughs> I think that they should maybe advertise that a bit more, that it's not necessarily the same score that other agencies or people pulling their score would see. And those TransUnion and Equifax scores you pay for, they're also for educational use. What is someone's actual credit score? Like, who, who knows that? It's hard to fathom that a company would exist to give you a credit score that may not be accurate and may not be completely needed. 